Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil and welcome to another Zelda Breath of the Wild episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to complete the Daka Ko Shrine and show you how to get all the chests there and we're getting started right now. So if you're following the Divine Beast Radania quest, you'll likely have run into this shrine. It's really hard to miss since it's right on your way to meet one of the characters as you get further along in the quest. It's also really close to the Keira Ma Shrine, which you likely just completed by following a Brother's Roast mini quest. If you need help there, then check out my other video. It walks you through the mini quest and the shrine so you can get all the chests. The link is down in the description of this video. So the Daka Ko Shrine is a super easy and a really fast one to complete. As a matter of fact, it's likely one of the easiest ones that I've completed so far in the game. So once you start, you'll be in a large square room with a gigantic box in the middle of the room and the floor underneath the gigantic box will be moving up and down causing the box to bounce kind of like a trampoline you'll want to use stasis to freeze the box hop on the trampoline floor and bounce your way up to land on top of the box after stasis expires the box flies back up in the air and you can turn around and find a chest sitting on a ledge high up on the wall. When the timing is right, just glide over and get the treasure. After you're done there, glide back to the middle of the room, and you'll need to get on top of the box once again. So, use stasis to find a way back up to the top. You can actually use your glide ability here to get back on top of the box if you want, so it's up to you. Guys, if you're finding value in this video, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments below which part you got stuck on in this particular shrine. Once the floor hits the gigantic box once again, it'll nearly hit the ceiling. At that time, you'll notice the green electrical connector on the top of the box will be close enough to the ceiling's electrical connector. You need to use stasis to freeze the box. Once you do, the door will open and you can glide your way to complete this shrine. Take a look at this other video on the Kaira Ma Shrine. It includes the mini quest of a brother's roast and walks you through getting all the chests in the shrine. And to learn how to beat Divine Beast Redania and how to get there and how to get all the treasure chests once inside, then click on the other video to learn more. And if you're new here, then click the round icon to subscribe. When you do, it's like sending me a digital sausage biscuit. It's so good. <laughs> 